Howdy folks, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are getting back to another comparison. Uh, this time we'll be comparing AIs again. More specifically, we'll be tackling the question of which Halo game has the strongest Jackals. So Jackals have basically been in pretty much every Halo game since the very first one, Halo Combat Evolved, or as I like to say, Halo 1. But yeah, these uh, enemies, they've been pretty... They're pretty classic enemies. They pretty uh, iconic as well compared not a, maybe not as iconic as some of the uh, other characters like grunts and elites but they're definitely one of the more memorable ones as well especially when you get to uh, the newer halo games but yeah for the most part jackals have been pretty consistent throughout each halo game uh, the only really major changes are like their visual appearances but otherwise they pretty much behave mostly the same across each game that being said they do change quite a bit between each game as far as their stats go, which is what we which is what we'll be comparing today. Minus Halo 5, of course, as usual, which hopefully you guys are used to by now because you should know that we can't compare Halo 5 by now. Uh, but anyways, we'll be uh, doing a objective comparison by looking at their stats. So without further ado, let's get right into it and take a look at Halo 1's stats first. So. Jackals in Halo 1 have a health of 60 points, their shields have 100 points of health, and they have a move turning speed of 180, an aim velocity of 540, and an aim acceleration of 2160. That basically dictates um, how accurate they are and how well they can um, look around and how quickly and stuff like that. Basically their aim accuracy overall. Um, so that's our little baseline that we've established there. So let's get into Halo 2 now The next game to feature Jackals, of course. I mean like I said they appear in every Halo game, but uh, in Halo 2 They've also gone through a few visual changes in both classic and anniversary graphics uh, Namely now Jackals can wield uh, two-handed weapons when they're not using their shields So in other words Jackal snipers, which are very famous in Halo 2 or rather notorious or infamous in Halo 2. We all know the struggle of Jacko snipers in Legendary, uh, and that reflects in their stats too. So their health has been reduced a little bit down to 40 points of health, but the shield strength remains about the same. It's a weird number actually getting that number, but uh, I'm pretty sure 100 points of health is correct in Halo 2. So 140 points of health total, essentially, if you combine the two. Uh, but their move turning speed is 300, aim velocity is 1200, and acceleration is 4500. A huge leap from Halo 1, which is why Jacko snipers in Halo 2 are so accurate and quick to react, especially on Legendary. Like, they just 360 no scope you, as we all know <laughs> in Halo 2, especially on Legendary. It's pretty crazy. Uh, anyways, the next game to feature Jackals is Halo 3. So, in Halo 3, Visually, they're pretty identical to Halo 2's, actually, um, which is typical. Halo 3 is more like a cleaner look of Halo 2, uh, visually speaking, and sometimes the stats are pretty much the same, too. But in this case, in Halo 3, the health remains the same, but the shields have been nerfed quite a lot, from 100 down to 40 points of health. Um, but everything else is actually the same as Halo 2. Their move turning speed, aim velocity, aim acceleration, it's all the same. So, technically, Jackal Snipers in Halo 3 should be just as accurate as Halo 2's, and from my personal experience, I, th I think that is pretty accurate, um, at, le at least on Legendary Difficulty. So, yeah, I mean, I I I'd say Jackal Snipers in Halo 3 and 2 should be about equal in their uh, accuracy and reaction time, um, but... You know, there might be other factors at play that I'm not aware of, but based on those stats alone, it seems like that's the case. So moving along to Halo Reach, uh, Jackals maintain similar uh, appearances, but they are now left-handed with their shields. It's an odd change, and I, I don't know if there's like a lore explanation behind it, but it doesn't really affect much. Uh, but as for their stats, their health is still 40, uh, but their shield strength is doubled again from Halo 3 to 80 now. Still weaker than Halo 2 and 1, but um, a little improved. Move turning speed is even higher now to 360, but aim velocity and aim acceleration have been nerfed a lot. Um, down from 1200 and 4500 to 360 and 750. 
Which, you know, there's no jackal snipers really in Halo Reach, not because there's no beam rifle. But, you know, so it doesn't really need to be that high. So, unfortunately, that's a little nerf there in Halo Reach. But anyways, moving on to Halo 4. So, with Halo 4, a lot of the times with both AIs and weapons, Halo 4 tends to be almost identical to Halo Reach. But is that still the case with Jackals? Well, visually speaking, Jackals are still very similar in Halo 4. They're even still left-handed uh, with the shields, just like in Halo Reach. Which, I still don't understand why that changed. <laughs> um, it's pretty odd. But as for their health... Their health has been bumped up to 80 now, while shield strength remains the same. So overall, with health and shield combined, Halo 4 Jackals are now evenly matched with Halo 1, as far as that stat goes. Uh, but their move turning speed has been drastically dropped down to 180, which makes them uh, equal to Halo 1 again, uh, so the slowest of this series. Uh, but aim velocity has been bumped up a little bit from reach, 719.999 uh, and 1440. So, you know, they're more accurate because there are Jackal Snipers again in Halo 4. Uh, but with that in mind, which Halo game has the strongest Jackals? Well, that actually depends on what criteria you want to go with. Uh, if you want to go by, like, just pure, like, health and, like, how much damage they can take, that would be a tie between Halo 1 and Halo 4. Although Halo 4 would have, would have the edge over Halo 1 because, uh, especially with Jackals that don't have shields anymore, Halo 4 would be stronger. But, we do have to take into account uh, their weapon proficiency in uh, Halo, in each Halo game with the Jackals. So, with that in mind, while Halo 4 may have the strongest Jackals as far as like health and shields go, um, you know, the balance there, I would have to give the best and strongest Jackals to Halo 2. They may not have the most health, or you know combined with the shields but they are ultra deadly especially with snipe snipers uh, beam rifles on higher difficulties we all know of, you know the jackal snipers like and the 360 no scope aimbotting basically uh, and you know it, it may be the same as uh, halo 3's as far as like accuracy goes and stuff but between the two it comes down to shield and health which uh, halo 2 seems to have uh, the better jackals in that regard so that is why I have to declare Halo 2 as having the strongest Jackals. Um, but if you just want to go by pure health, then it would basically be a tie between Halo 4 and Halo CE, but with a slight edge to Halo 4 because of just the raw health. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you uh, found it to be interesting, make sure to leave a like as always. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, if there's anything else you to compare or check out next or look into, just let me know. I'll do my best to get around to it soon. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!